Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have Seb with me again, and we're gonna try another snack crate. So today we are gonna be trying Japan. And we have this like massive snack crate. Snack crate was so awesome to send us a premium crate this month. So I'm really excited to try it. There's a lot of stuff in here. So it looks like this when you open it. And oh, also have, like, where'd the papers go? Paper oh, um, they're in the box. Okay, so this is just a little manual. And this just shows all the snacks, what they are, because obviously we can't read the language on the packaging. I guess we're just gonna go right into it. So it's grape flavored mochi, which is a tradi traditional Japanese rice cake made by pounding rice into a paste and molding it into a shape. Hmm. That has a really good grape flavor. But the grape flavor is strong. That's good, it tastes really good. Yeah, cool. The grape, it's like a sour, kind of sour, but it has a very strong, like, true grape flavor. All right, what's next? All right, this feels weird. This feels like a wafer, kind of. Um, it has pizza on it, so. There's one that has a burger on it. This is teriyaki, babe. And there's one that has uh, rice, pasta? I don't know. They're really cute, though, but I'm gonna read what these are. So it's a umaibo. Delicious. Stick in Japanese is a puff corn snack available in many flavors. They included pizza, teriyaki burger, and chicken curry. curry. I want to try pizza. Pizza, yeah. Okay. Alright, let's try this. Smell like pizza? I don't know. It it's like a like cheese. cheese. Yeah. This is so weird. What? It looks kind of like a little um, taquito. Mmm. Oh my god! That's good! It tastes like a pizza stick. And you know what it tastes like? It kind of tastes like pizza, like combo, with the little pretzel Combos, things, yeah, yeah. but better. Because I'm not really a fan of the pretzel texture. I love that texture. It's like it's like a Cheeto texture. It's like a pizza Cheeto, I think, kind of. Yeah, right? It's like a big pizza Cheeto. So far, I'm like so impressed with Japan. Wow, okay, cool. Both of you yeah, save those for later. So we're gonna do this one. Hai Chu Grape. Fruit flavored soft chewy Japanese candy sold in Japan since 1975. It looks like gum. Very soft. Mm. It's very artificial. Maybe a mix of like a Laffy Taffy flavor but not as chewy. So like the flavor of a Laffy Taffy but like just a softer version. Like you don't it. want it? I don't really like it. Not that bad but... Uh, okay, I'm gonna choke. Please put this aside. Alright. Okay, so hey. these are green tea Kit Kats. Yeah, let's put one. They feel a little like they melted and kind of formed back, which makes sense. It's hot outside, so I love Kit Kats, but I don't know how I feel about them being green tea. <laughs> Is it chocolate? Yeah, it's the same thing as the Kit Kat with green tea. It just melted and kind of like reformed. That's why it's like looks weird. Mm. Hmm. That's good. I think it tastes like a Kit Kat, but like maybe not as chocolatey, obviously. Yeah, it has like a... It tastes like white chocolate. That's a good point. All right, I'm gonna try this. This looks really weird. What's that? I don't know. Ah, wah, 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 wah. Ah, wah, 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 wah. The four was. Ah, wah, 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 wah. Pucho ball. An effervescent candy. Crazy sour, but crazy good. Aww. It has so much fizz, it puts most soft drinks to shame. Wow, this seems really crazy. Let me help you. Oh my god, that's sour. It's good though. Mm. It's definitely very fizzy. It almost like bubbles in your mouth. That's kind of. When do you chew it? I don't know, right, I wait, wait till it's like smaller. Okay, okay, from now. Okay, I wanna try this thing that looks spicy. I don't, I am not a fan of spicy things. It's supposed to be interesting, and Seb's not either, so. This is what it is. Tohado Spicy Rings. Since 2003, these flaming rings of death have been burning their way around Japan. Spice factor, five out of five. 
All right, let's dive in. There we go. Doesn't smell very spicy. They're very small rings. They're like little babies. They're so cute. Ready? How is that spice factor five out of five? We did just eat one. A handful, like regular people would do. A whole handful? Oh, no, handful. It's like more than one. Basically, just like regular potato chip, but it's spicy. Mm. I don't know. Bad. It tastes like ramen. You get that taste? Yeah. It tastes like ramen, like ramen chips with some spice. Let's try the drinks. Oh, we got pineapple. So this is, I know they sell this in America. They sell this at, um, I think, FYE and like other places like that. But it's a carbonated soft drink. Flavor is pineapple. Let me just read it, what they say on here. It's Ramoon Soda. Very popular in Japan where it comes in a variety of unusual flavors and sealed with a marble. I don't understand how this, how you open this. I've always wondered that. Oh, babe! It's pretty fine. What? It's pushed down on the opener. No, 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 the other way. Place the opener on top of the... I don't think so. Push down the center to release the opener. Oh, oh wait. We're a little slow. Ah! Wait, no, keep pushing for five seconds. Two, one, okay. Oh, there's a little ball on that now. I know, it's so weird. Okay, so we just like figured it out. What it tastes like? Nothing. It's like the littlest hint of... It doesn't taste like anything to me. Pineapple, no, there's a little hint. What is this? Ooh, it feels like cotton candy. Watapachi grape. This awesome candy is a cross between cotton candy and popping candy. Ooh, it feels weird. Oh, there's like Pop Rocks in it. Ooh. Their wow, grape flavoring so is so sour. Sweet. Mm, it's sour. Wow. No, it's sour. I want to try this ice cream cone looking thing. It looks like, um, what is it called, a drumstick? A candy that pretends it's ice cream. Chocolate cookie crunch ice cream at that. What more could you ask for? Ooh, it looks like I got messed up. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I wanna know what this is. Fettuccine gummy. Chewy candy coated with sugar and a light sour hit. It's like the candy version of fettuccine noodles. Ew, it stinks. What do I do with it? I mean, it's like a big block. I think it melted somehow. It definitely melted. No way it's like that. Try to take it out. All right. Well, oh my God. Yeah, I think this melted. Yay for hot weather. I don't know if it comes like this. Want me to see the package real quick? I'm going to try that. How mm. is it? Not bad. So we got a DIY kit. It's a sushi DIY kit. And we're actually not going to do this on camera because we're going to have to set this out and like get water and kind of make it. So I can do a video on the DIY after, but I'm not going to add it into this video. So let's go for the Pocky. So I think most people know what Pocky is. They sell it in America. Um, looks like this. This is creamy melt in your mouth milk flavored coating fused onto a crispy cookie stick. Ugh, I don't like milk at all. I hate milk. Alright. This is the sticks. They got a little stick together from the heat, but what does it taste like? I want to taste the bottom part. I haven't tasted that top part. I'm yet. literally scared because I hate milk. I hate milk. Next, next, next. Let's do the other Pocky. This one looks good. Pocky strawberry with a heart shaped biscuit coated in a creamy bit strawberry chocolate. Encrusted with strawberry flakes. There's no other way to say I love you. These are really cute. They have little hearts on the end. Mmm. It smells like fresh strawberries. This is good. Alright. These ones, they also sell in America. Koala No March. The famous Koala's March is a cute bite-sized cookie snack with a sweet chocolate filling inside. Mmm. so good. I bet. Fuego. 
You have to hide those for me before I like, eat them. Yeah, he'll oh. eat them all. I have no idea what these are. Apollo. They're small chocolates that are shaped like the tips of rockets and made up of a milk chocolate base and strawberry chocolate top. I love strawberry. They seem to have a lot of strawberry and grape, which is really cool. They're all stuck again. All these got super like melted. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is sticking together. Just got a little piece. Um, okay. <laughs> That's good. Strawberry and chocolate is the best combination. The best. We have these Choco Baby. It says each of these little pellet shaped Choco Baby treats is made from the classic, deliciously rich and creamy Meiji milk chocolate. These got stuck together too. Very like creamy, rich chocolate. It's good. Good sure. chocolate. Next, we're gonna try this little one with the bird Choco Balls. Fantastic chocolate covered balls of caramel, one of the most iconic Japanese candies. Another great item. It says there's Sano, Sano Manam grape. Three little gumballs filled with a soft gummy center. One of these isn't quite as sweet as the others, you've been warned. I got the sour. What is this supposed to be? Gum. Oh, this is gum? I'm gonna swallow it. The last one is this guy. It looks so interesting. All right, so this one says delicious wafer filled with bubbly milk and white chocolate layers in the shape of a super cute pant. Oh, this guy got melted too. Panda, 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 panda. I got broads in Atlanta. She's a Dolina fan. Pretty cool. I don't know what that is, but it's creamy and it is good. Okay. So. That was everything in this month's snack crate. I love Japan. They had some of the yeah. coolest stuff. I like this way better than France. France was cool, but this was like a step up. But I would say for sure my favorite thing was the pizza stick. That tasted yeah. so good. Is that your favorite too? Yeah, it was really good. It just tasted so amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to be subscribed to this channel. I usually have a video out every week, if not twice a week. And I will see you guys in my next video.